Hey, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing as seen on TV items, other consumer products, and household gadgets. If that's something that's interesting to you, please consider subscribing to my channel for more videos just like this one. Now, let's get to it. Bulb head free digital HCTV on sale, $7. We're definitely going to try this out. Okay, so this next review is a bulb head as seen on TV review, and it's called the TV Freeway. Now, this product boasts that you can get over the air, high definition digital channels and get rid of your cable bill forever. I'm really excited to see if this will work. Now, let's open it up. And I'm really, I really like that bald head is learning. If you look on the back of this, it's got like a, a spot where it's perforated and you can just peel it off and it opens up ever so easily. I like that. Take out the directions, and in here is the product itself. On one end, it has a coaxial, and then on the other end, it has what looks to be like maybe the next generation rabbit ears. And I'm not sure if you can see in there, but there's a design that looks like a big giant paper clip that goes all through there, um, and that might be where the antenna part works. I think it's interesting. Um, it says you can hide this right behind the TV and not see it, but let's check out what else is in the box. Um, I have a coaxial extension. I have, it looks to be um, a stand of some sort. And then there's a suction cup. And I wonder if this suction cup could be used to hang in a window if it doesn't work behind your TV. Now, that sort of takes away from the hiding of this behind your TV, but I understand that some people may live out in other areas and you might need to put this out in your um, window or so. And see how this just stands in the stand if you need it to. Um, Pretty cool so far. I'm excited to see what it's like on the TV. So let's get to that next. Okay, here I'm just showing you that there's nothing um, plugged into the TV. So there's no antenna, no cable. Um, so you can see as it calculates through here that there's going to be, well, I don't know actually how many channels, if it finds any. This is just the TV itself checking for channels and there you have it as it as it went through um, i'll try to change the channel and it says if you can read that all all the channels are not viewable so there's really no channels i just have this one so now let's hook up the tv freeway to see what happens all right so here we have the back of the tv i'm going to plug in the coaxial from the tv freeway and tighten this down um and then we're going to re redo the test of the channel so we'll, we'll now try to do it from the front okay now we have the tv freeway installed you can see it right here behind the tv um there's one of the antlers there so let's um check to see if the installation does anything different channel program and start scan last time we got as far as 15 percent and it shut off having no channels found. Let's see what happens this time. It looks like it's finding some already. There's four found. All right, so it took about a total of three minutes, and it found, um, I think it said it found eight channels, so that's pretty impressive. Um, I do live out in the country, so to even have that many channels is pretty interesting. I'm going to try to see if there's a difference by hanging it in the window just over there to see if there's a difference and if it finds any more channels, but not so bad for the first test. Okay, so now we're going to try um, the antenna just sitting over in the window to see if we get more than the eight channels. I'm not going to record the entire um, thing. I'll just bring it back at the end, but 
We're trying it now as far as being in the window instead of being on the back. Now we had eight last time. Let's see if we have more than eight this time. So just an update, it's about 83% done and it's already found almost twice as many channels just being across the room a few feet to the window. Um, it's at 15 channels found. Very interesting. Okay, so I'm ready to give you my review of the TV freeway. You know what? I plugged it in, ran the test. I got immediately eight channels in a matter of minutes. Not too shabby. And even when I plugged it up into the window and ran the cord, um, I got a total of seven more channels for a combined 15 channels that prior to I had zero. To me, that works. I will say it came with this eight foot coaxial extension cord, um, so I could run it to the window. Um, I want to note though, every time I touch this cord, um, the signal for the antenna would, would lose. Um, and so you would not have the TV picture anymore. So that was kind of annoying. I ended up putting it back, connecting it back to the TV and not using it in the window. So I went back down to eight channels. I found that the additional seven channels are channels I wouldn't really watch. And a lot of times they went in and out of service. So it wasn't really convenient for me anyway. Um, in the end, this thing cost me seven bucks. I got it on sale at Walmart. And so I wanted to review it. It works, but I think it probably works just as well as any other antenna. So if that's something that works for you, great. It worked for me and I'm going to use it and I'm happy with it. Hey, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And if you like this video, please click the like button. Uh, be sure to comment below if you use this antenna. Uh, maybe you live out in the city and you get more channels. I've heard rumors of if you live in a city, you might get upwards to 50 digital channels. That's pretty sweet. Um, also, subscribe to my channel. Um, for more videos just like this one. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.